we're from near Charlottesville, Virginia, a little place called Scottsville, small community, small rural community in in Virginia, uh, not too far from the Skyline Drive. So we uh, we bought this coach uh, in February 2009, right? 2009. And uh, we actually came to uh, Buddy Greg in Knoxville for service since the coach originally came from there. And they told us about the gardens uh, just in a casual conversation. And so we decided to ride over here one day and take a look. And after the visit, we, we liked it, but we weren't ready to move. And then this past December, when we had two foot of snow on the ground at home, and this was sitting out in the two foot of snow, we said, maybe we ought to think about Crossville. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pulled out the literature, reviewed it all, and uh, called Tim Wilson. And he said, come and visit and stay for a few days up here on Homeless Hill while we looked around and talked to everybody here at the gardens. A beautiful place. Uh, uh, it just, it really, it really struck us in a great positive way. And, and then after we, we saw and got acquainted with the people, and they all had RVing as a common interest, and the the um, living accommodations and the accommodations for the coach were just absolutely perfect for us. So he likes the RV garage. Yeah, I'm a garage. <laughs> I'm a garage nut. He likes and, having the RV in a garage. And, uh, at home, we have a we have a great place to park, but it's outside. We um, uh, wanted to scale back from where we were at because we have a large yard. We have a fairly good sized house. And uh, we, we, our, our main emphasis at this point in our life is traveling. So we wanted a place that we could have called home. And if we wanted to leave, we locked the door and leave. Don't have to worry about the yard. Don't have to worry about a big house to take care of. And, uh, and we have, you know, already here we have wonderful friends. And they have really, really been good to us. We can yeah. see the progress. So each yeah. day as we walk by, we can see what's going on. And sometimes they have questions for us. And we have questions for them, and that's worked out very nicely. Yeah. We, we try not to hover too much over there at the job site because we want them to keep moving. <laughs> and and really, <laughs> we, worked that well. we had said we'd never build a house, and because of the situation here with Tim and with uh, Greg and the subcontractors, uh, you know, having been here a long time, have done these houses over and over, you know, we felt very, very comfortable. Uh, with them doing our building for us and us not to have to deal with somebody, a stranger, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And um, they do excellent work. We're very comfortable with them. We've uh, checked them out in, in a lot of the homes here. Yeah. We've been in the homes and looked at their workmanship and asked questions about them, and everybody had yeah. good things to say about them. And their reputation here in town has been really good. Because we have some flexibility yeah. in what we wanted in the floor plan and for little details that maybe they could tweak that we liked. And as long as it was agreeable with the situation here at the gardens, it hasn't presented any problem. It's been nice, the flexibility. And we were encouraged and did go through a number of houses. And we found a house with a floor plan that we liked. And we were actually able to see firsthand what it was going to look like. I mean, the size of the rooms, the layout of the, the rooms and everything, which was a tremendous help rather than just looking at a blueprint and trying to figure out exactly what it was going to look like. And then from that, from that um, home, we did some adjustments to suit us. And uh, one was a larger garage, and um, I think uh, that was a basic change we made. Uh, the weather has been a lot cooler than what we were used to, and with less humidity. Now, some people have been complaining about humidity because right now we're having a season that's a little different than what yeah, normally June, is here for June. June, June. <laughs> but it still has been a lot cooler um, than where we're from and with the humidity being less. And the town of Crossville, to us, is a good-sized town. We like it. We like the restaurants. There's been something going on ever since we've been here, entertainment-wise. A lot of things happening. We almost need an entertainment secretary to keep up with what's going on. <laughs> I mean, it looks like we're going day and night, you know. Yeah. And and for the, the convenience, because at home we have to travel 20 miles to get to, to any size city at all. And here we are five minutes uh, from a nice grocery store and from restaurants and theater and, you Shopping. know, 
shopping is just really tremendous. And we're close to Nashville and we're close to Knoxville. I mean, we went to Knoxville this week, it only took an hour. And Chattanooga's not that far. Chattanooga's, Chattanooga's not that far. Not that far. <laughs> Could not ask for a more caring, more friendly group. They look out for one another and when, when they're traveling, you know, to look after the mail situation and look after the home. They check the home to make sure, you know, that everything is okay. And, uh, yeah, they, they have volunteered that information. We haven't had to ask them. They've volunteered it. Mm -hmm. And just uh, the, the friendliness really sticks out, really does. And, and, and it's, it's amazing because people here from all over the country. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Uh, everywhere. And um, it, it's, it's, it's amazing that everybody you know, has such a friendly nature about them and such, uh, and, and of course, common interest with RV. I think the friendliness comes into play right away. And we have found that not just here in the community, but we have found it in town. Um, you know, they're willing to help. They, they offer to help anything they can do. It's been a rare, rare time since we've been coming to Tennessee that we meet anybody that's not courteous, polite, and friendly. Yeah, yeah. Not, not over the top, but just naturally that way. And uh, another thing great about the gardens here, if you like, uh, if you have, and, and in fact, Crossfield in particular, if you, if you have a hobby, if you like golf, if you like flying model airplanes, if you like motorcycles, if you like hot rods. The model railroad. Uh, and model railroad, <laughs> if you like, you like uh, yeah. model railroad, it's, it's all here for you. I mean, it is, it is a paradise for retired people. It really is. We like it.